launch pad uh, in in about a year, uh, sometime at, at the end of next year, and and uh, and making uh, helping make the uh, United States the leader in space launch again. Elon, first of all, congratulations! Uh, groundbreaking for a project this monumental has to be a very big deal for for you, even after everything you've done. Can you talk to us about what SpaceX is doing here, of all places, amidst all this history? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, we're, we're planning to launch our Falcon 9 launch uh, uh, rocket from uh, Pad 40 uh, that we just did the groundbreaking on. Uh, it, we're very proud to be here. It's a site of tremendous history, having been the, the Titan IV launch site until last year. And um, uh, it's, it's well suited to our launch vehicle because our launch vehicle is about the size of the, of the Titan IV. Uh, the, um, the Falcon 9, um, uh, Falcon 9 Heavy actually is, uh, is gonna, will have more payload uh, to orbit capability than any other rocket in the world. So it really needs a large launch site like this uh, uh, to be able to operate. And we also expect to do the NASA uh, flights to the space station with cargo and crew from from this uh, launch location. Um, so we expect to make very heavy use of this launch uh, launch site. Uh, we expect to have um, the first Falcon 9 uh, rocket uh, at the Cape by the end of next year. Uh, and then depending upon um, uh, the, uh, the the weather and range availability and uh, regulatory uh, elements. Uh, we may either launch at the end of next year or uh, or potentially early 2009. Um, and uh, we're very excited to be uh, here. And you know, the, the Cape I think is the the premier launch site in the world. And um, it's uh, you know, as I, I was saying out there, and uh, a, a, you know, a friend of, I was talking to a friend of mine about uh, launching from Cape Canaveral, and he said, "Wow, that's like uh, opening on Broadway." So we're uh, very excited to be here and, 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 be, and uh, be operating for such a, you know, a, a site and a, and a launch complex of, of such significance. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. With all the turbulence and other aspects of the uh, cot situation right now, all of a sudden you find yourself in the catbird seat. Where do you think this leaves uh, SpaceX at this point, and is there anybody who can compete with you? Well, uh, you know, we're just heads down, focused on execution uh, and, and, and getting the job done, passing the, the NASA milestones. Uh, we, we passed uh, what's arguably the most significant milestone, which is the critical design review uh, with NASA a couple months ago. Um, and NASA gave us uh, very, very good grades on, on that, uh, that critical design review. Um, so we, ha we haven't really thought too much about uh, what others are doing. We're, we're just really focused on, on what we're doing. To, to the best of my knowledge, um, I think there's, there's, there's no one close to, close to us. But of course, um, you know, it's like if you're doing a race, you just focus on the race and, and getting the job done. With all that you've accomplished in industries outside of commercial space, why here? I mean, you could have basically sat back and had a very comfortable life without all this heartache. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, I get a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't I buy an island and sort of sit on the beach <laughs> sipping Mai Tais? Uh, and, you know, that sounds good, but it gets boring. And, and I, I like to do things. I like technology. I like, uh, you know, I'm a big believer in the future of humanity and trying to make it as exciting and, and bright a future as possible. Um, and I, I think space exploration is, is really a, a critical part of that. Uh, you know, I really want a future where we're a space-bearing civilization rather than one where we're stuck on Earth forever. Uh, and, and so we're trying to help make that, that, that future happen. And that's, that's really why I'm investing my money in, in, in the rocket business. It's, it's you know, I, I think we'll, we'll build a company at the end of the day that has value, but from a risk-adjusted reward standpoint, the rocket business is not the first place you'd look to invest money. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, 
for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. So let me stick you with a really tough question. Sure. We're here 10 years from now. What will we be congratulating you on then? <laughs> wow, 10 years from now? That seems like a long time in the future. You know, SpaceX has only been around five years, so you're talking about triple our current lifespan. Um, gee, in 10 years, well, I, I hope we're, we're taking, uh, we're, we're doing manned space flight on a weekly basis. You know, it's at, maybe even on a daily basis in 10 years, uh, where it's just flight, 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 and it's just so routine, it's like, it's almost like an aircraft taking off. Um, you know, it just becomes something that people expect and, and that we've driven the, the cost down, proven reusability, um, so that we can, can really drive the, the cost of space transportation down by a factor of 10 or more. Um, and, uh, and, and, and we might, you know, it, depending upon how things go, we might uh, actually have uh, uh, the, uh, you know, a, a larger rocket um, developed and maybe bringing a larger rocket than Falcon 9 to, to Cape, Cape Canaveral. It's, I think, um, if I were to describe the best of all possible worlds, that would be it. Well, 10 years from now, we'll have to revisit this conversation. <laughs> Absolutely. I, that'll be an interesting uh, retrospective.